We're on our way to my pulmonologist appointment. It's just a uh, follow-up and I get the results of my sleep study test. Ironically enough, <laughs> last night I did not sleep well, if you can't tell. I didn't sleep well at all. I kept waking up and it was just a mess. So I don't feel good and this morning Elijah and I were playing and he went to go like leave. He was sitting on my lap and he went to turn to leave and he was going fast because I was tickling him and he kneed me right in my jaw and it, it hurt so bad that I seriously felt like it was broken or something. But anywho, it really shouldn't be a long appointment unless, <clears throat> of course, I don't get good results. But, and I am a little nervous, but trying to stay positive and praying that everything will be okay and come out normal. We have a busy day tomorrow. I finally got my camera back. So I just needed to get back into the swing of vlogging and stuff. I was kind of, I felt like in a rut. I was still trying to focus on getting myself better because even though I got released from the hospital, I was still recovering, you know? So, so I'm home. Sorry, I look crazy. As you can tell from my face probably, my appointment didn't go good. I can't remember word for word the specifics, but my score was an eight for my sleep study and a normal is a five or less. So I have to sleep with a sleep machine now. And I feel like anytime something good is happening, something bad just has to sneak in. And I'm trying really hard to find the positive in this because luckily I'm only 28 and they caught it now and it doesn't damage my heart. So a lot of people go with, I don't have, it's um it's sleep apnea, but it's it has a name, it's, I forget, I have to look it up. If I, I'm gonna look it up, I'll put it on the screen. But a lot of people go not knowing and then they have all these heart problems and they wonder where they get these heart problems from and it's from sleep apnea. So basically, Somehow, you know, my my breathing is getting obstructed when I sleep, and I just feel like if it's not one thing, it's another. Hey guys, it's like 9.30, but I wanted to get on here just because I was looking at my face, and Friday we had a busy day, and but it was really hot out, and I was sweating a lot because, you know, I sweat a lot. I feel like I look so crazy. So anyway, I was sweating and I started to notice like when I like wiped the sweat off with a paper towel, I noticed that I was like breaking out and then all of a sudden it started all on my face. And it's funny because that Friday I wanted to wear makeup because of what we were doing and I straightened my hair and everything and now it's all frizzy and yeah. But so anyway, I wanted to wear makeup. So I put on this moisturizer that I always put like, used to put on before I did my makeup. All of a sudden I feel like that broke me out and then like I'm breaking out literally all over my face. Like, do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> I originally thought it was a heat rash but now I'm thinking it's like stress related and I don't know. I need to not touch my face. Look at this. Up here kind of like itches sometimes. And then like, do you see my forehead? Like, I mean, I thought it was a heat rash, but I don't know what's going on. So I'm just gonna go wash my face and not touch it. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to vlog that. I don't know why, because I haven't vlogged in a while. And then I have this one. Hello. You're Elijah? Yeah. Oh, wow. How old are you? Four. Four? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mummy, but then it's down to the... This chair. 
Mm -hmm. So, but that means I can go all the way to here. So let me see how much you have right now. So I have four to No, here. let me see here. <laughs> Up top. I show them the money right here. Okay. So, this is the money, and then it's down to this quick one. Oh, so, guys, I wanted to show you real quick. Look what happened. It's oh, no. 40 pounds. Let's see. Look what happened to my phone. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Everybody's texting me. Okay, so can you see that one where the light is going across? That crack right there happened, but this all happened too when i first dropped it first of all i didn't drop it it and ignore my raggedy bandy <laughs> i swear i've only had it on for one day but anyway it slipped off the couch and it must have hit right here so like it hit right here because this is where it had the most cracks but then it traveled over here it was from here and around and then one day i was texting and my thumb keeps getting caught in here when I hit the home button and that white piece came out. Then I was sitting on the couch reading a book because I, sorry, I love uh, reading books and like uh, iBooks and stuff. And I don't know if you can see this one right here. That happened literally with me just holding the phone. I meant to get it fixed last weekend but we were super busy so I didn't but yeah so i joined the club of the cracks crack screen club yep i wasn't too happy about that and you guys know that g wasn't happy about that hey um do you want to show everybody what that is i can show them this is my helmet for my back <laughs> for your bike yeah let's see it no, no no what i gotta tell them to see hey guys too crazy or Elijah's game back there but it is I'm not gonna tell you the date because you can't probably just saw it over here or over here so today was my appointment at my new old new uh, OBGYN and can I just tell you that it went so good excuse me I feel so much better knowing that I'm under his care now. He made me feel so much better. He was kind of pissed about Dr. I was about to say his name about the other doctor just because he asked me, did I know what my fertility diagnosis Hi, was? Where's that? What baby? I don't know. He said, what's your uh, fertility diagnosis? And I said, he never told me one. He said, okay, so why are you having irregular periods? I said, I don't know. He okay. said he never, he said he never, you know, found out why you were having irregular periods before he prescribed you the for infertility medicine. I said, no. He said, well, okay. He said, that's not, you know, how I do things. He said, I like to find the cause of the problem before I treat it. Because he said that medication very well could have been the reason why I hemorrhaged the way that I did. Because he said, for me to hemorrhage the way that I did at my age is ridiculous and not normal at all. So, yeah. I also have to get like blood work done and get like another ultrasound done and something, woo! Whoa, something, whoa, whoa, did you guys see that? Did you see that? That my face probably was funny. Whoa. Anyway, so that's it for right now. I will do like an update video about everything to do with infertility and as soon as I see him again, which is not until like the middle of August because I don't want to do it now because there's not too much to say so we'll see but I love this doctor he actually is the one who delivered Elijah so Elijah was so excited to meet him and he ran up to him and I was like so this is doctor you know and he you know delivered you from like he took you out of my belly and Elijah ran up to him gave him a big hug and he said thank you for delivering me so cute and the doctor was like you're gonna make me cry kid 
It's like when I saw it last time I saw you, you were like the size of my hand. Like, oh man. And at this doctor's office, they actually put like every baby that's born, they have like a tree and they put uh, their names on it. And his name was on the tree and I found it. You see it? This battery is dying. Oh, real quick before my camera cuts off. My internet is not working and tomorrow it will be working. They're coming out to fix it. So more videos. See you next time, guys. Hey babe, would you like to explain <laughs> what you're doing? About to push it up. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So we need to get our bed upstairs and this is the frame that does not come apart. Every other piece of the bed comes apart except for this piece. So I'm gonna make it come apart. If you By can't tell. Sawing it in half. <laughs> and then wood glue and some nails. If that don't work, then I gotta go buy another one. Tomorrow. No. <laughs> and Elijah's measuring over there. He will cut him. He will cut him. Battery's about to die, guys. <laughs> gotta dig out the charger. So guys. You have an unknown caller calling you? Unknown caller? <laughs> Watch this, guys. <laughs> we'll put my girl voice. <laughs> so, this is what he did. He, like, broke. Basically, I cut it in half. Gosh. Said no power tools. Yeah. So you just have a handsaw. So hand okay, guys. I have to ask you. Like, welcome home. <laughs> if you know where that's from, comment down below. I don't even know when this vlog is gonna go up. I don't know. Cause so of freaking Comcast. So what am I holding this? No, you can turn that off and help me take this upstairs. Oh. No. Nah. <laughs>